Hello, hello, and welcome back to the vlog, you guys. Where am I? You might be wondering. What the fuck is behind you? I'm in my parents' house, specifically the bathroom. It's a Tuesday. I'm down here at my parents' house because yesterday I shot a main channel video with the Schultzy crew. It was so much fun. I would say like one of the most fun shoots we've done to date. Questions. Not flat color. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Okay. At the beginning. We're like, sure, so to speak. Okay. Oh, that's fine. But we're like, we've been cheating. Oh, well. And that video comes out in August. We've pre-shot a lot of the videos just because people's availabilities in the summer, like we're overlapping. So it was hard to get dates for a lot of the videos. So we've pre-shot every summer video. I hope you guys love them because well, I wasn't at the last one because I had COVID, but the, uh, the concepts are all fantastic. Yesterday, we all took a posing class, like posing in photos. And I didn't really know what to expect, but our expert was amazing. My like new BFF, I'm obsessed with her. Christine Vizan, go find her. I'll link her shit below because literally I'm obsessed with her. Anyway, I really wasn't sure if I like what I was gonna take out of the posing class. And I ended up having like kind of an intense personal self-realization in the class yesterday. And the photos we took were incredible. And I just feel like so much, like I'm gonna be so much more confident like taking photos going forward, which as you guys know, because I mentioned in every vlog is great because I'm trying to up my social media presence. So that's long story short why I'm here in San Diego. I'm actually about to leave. I just took a shower and got finished getting ready. I'm gonna have something to eat and then probably head out of here. So let's go. I was just going to get the kitchen to get something to eat. And I noticed that it is a gorgeous sunny day out, which is so unusual because it's been very cloudy and gloomy. And I was looking for my parents and they're just out there sitting in the sun. My parents are very naturally tan. Unlike me, they don't have to pay for their tans because they just sit in the sun constantly. Oh my God, I have to show you my parents' cat. His name is Jamie and he's so cute. Can you doing your Duolingo? What about my madre? Mi madre es elegante. Aw. Oh, hi. Say hi to yourself. Oh, this is not a good angle for me. Let me do this. There we go. You like the MySpace Mi angle. Mi namo es Alano. You know that's not right. Mi namo? Uh, me llamo Alano? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Is you're, that right? Or mi nombre? Mi nombre is my number. Nope. I was right, internet. Happy to say mi nombre es means my name is. Hello, Numero is number. Oh. Trying to confuse me because okay. he's a... Mi nombre es uh, Alano. Y mi padre Alano. Alano. Yeah, Alan in, in Spanish is Alano. No, it is fucking not. It's Alan. Anyway. Hey Siri, how do you say Alan in Spanish? In Spanish. Alan. <laughs> Alan. She doesn't know. Alan. Alano. You like the MySpace angle. Could you imagine if I had to vlog like this every time my arm would be so tired? I know, it's good, but get a good arm muscle, so. But I, I'll do like this, I'm gonna, what's up everybody? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't wanna do that, no. I have a fragile ego. Well, we've been sitting in the sun for the last, like, what, two hours? Yeah, it's been nice. And now I have to drive up to LA. I've been really putting it off, but uh, here I go. Ciao. Ch oh. Oh. <laughs> Peace out, brothers. Okay, well, that's not going in. All right, I am, uh, I don't even know where I am. I'm like 45 minutes north of San Diego charging my Tesla. Uh, my mom got me an amazing gift. My mom has an incredible green thumb and her garden is insane. And I uh, kill anything that I stand cl too close to, let's be clear. But I really want to grow things the way my mom does. So she's helping me out. She potted some basil, some mint, and some catnip uh, for me because she has this huge catnip plant and I really wanted it. Not hers, but just to be able to grow my own. So she potted them and then my parents put them in the back seat for me. So I have them. I can't really put it between. I don't think there's enough. Room. Well, maybe I can. Hold on. I can move the seat up. Okay, vlogged away. The most interesting thing that's going to happen to me today. Everybody cross your fingers. Hopefully I have a huge mint, basil, and catnip plants in the next few weeks. Now I'm here charging my car. I was going through my emails and I realized that I, I am such an idiot. I made a Disneyland reservation for myself today because I thought, oh, maybe I'll go up early and I'll stop by Disney and I'll like break up the drive for myself a little bit. I don't really want to do that now. I'm, no, I totally forgot that I had done that. Unfortunately, if I don't go, that'll be my third no-show in the last 90 days, and then I get locked out of making a reservation for the next month. So I have to stop at Disney. The good news is that I waited so long to leave San Diego because I just, I slept in and I should not have done that. The traffic is really bad. Like, so to get home, normally it would be like, I don't know, 
an hour and 20 minutes and it's two hours and 15 minutes. So it's actually not a bad idea to break up the drive a little bit. It's wow, traffic is going up a lot. It's 50 minutes to Disneyland right now. I'm just gonna go scan in, maybe like check out a shop and then of course, of course, my camera just died too, so I don't even get to vlog it. Well, I have my phone, so I can vlog it on my phone, but what a weird day I'm having, actually. Well, I'm here. I parked at Downtown Disney because, I don't know, I don't know what choices I'm making in life anymore, if I'm being honest. The traffic to get here was horrific, so in a way, I think this is a blessing in disguise to really break up that drive because I was getting sleepy. one thing I'm gonna do while I'm in Disney, it's a uh, shop. It's all coming soon, I'm nowhere near done. Okay, I'm through downtown Disney. <laughs> I haven't even gone into the parks yet. Um, and I spent an insane amount of money, but the reality is, look at what I'm wearing. I'm not Disney ready. I forgot that I was doing this today. So I had to buy a whole, you know, look. And the most important thing I bought, cutest new ears. Okay, let's go change and then go into the park. The vibe has changed. Not me walking in a bathroom. Let's go to the park. Apparently it's Pride Night tonight, which definitely explains the very awesome vibe going on in the park today. I put what I learned yesterday to the test immediately. A big part of what I learned yesterday is not being afraid to just take photos of myself by myself in public. That's what I did. I decided the best way to take photos of myself is just to take videos and then take screenshots. I pushed through the embarrassment. Just like I'm pushing through the embarrassment right now, people are walking by. I'm in front of Thunder Mountain, but uh, the vibes are good. The lines are kind of short, but I don't really know if I want to ride something by myself. Oh my god, I went to get one of my favorite things, which is a raspberry macaroon at Jolly Holiday, but they're sold out. I'm so sad. <laughs> Okay, I'm leaving, I'm back in my car. It is seven o'clock, so I was there for like two hours. Um, I bought this shirt and this shirt and these ears and, by the way, these ears are like a hot commodity. I'm very happy with my purchase. Very happy I got them. And this, a gold tumbler. Let me tell you, Mario's gonna be so mad. I haven't told him I bought this yet. He knows about everything else. I mean, I bought with my own money. I can do whatever I want. These things are normally $50. I know, I know, crazy, insane, stupid. It's highway robbery is what it is. Let's ignore the fact that I have several. These were on sale for I think like $30 plus my magic e discount. I don't, how much did I pay? I got it for 25 bucks. Some people are probably thinking it's still not worth $25. And to you, I say, we're not the same, okay? That's half off, essentially. I had to get it and it's so shiny. I'm gonna go home and wash it and put water in it. Anyway, I ended up being uh, very satisfied with my little traffic breaker and I'm ultimately going to have a shorter, better drive home. Let me put home into the GPS and see what it says. Oh, 50 minutes, great. And Mario's at bar trivia tonight. He won't even be home when I get home. So I think I'm going to, when I'm like 20 minutes out, order myself some dinner. I am so shiny put my pots in my front yard my pots that have just been sitting in the car probably not great for them but anyway this was a great little pit stop i didn't ride any rides i actually didn't even end up buying any food which are the two things i thought i was going to do but it was a little shopping trip a little little nice walk outside for two hours um yes no i am um sweaty i'm actually not even that sweaty i feel like i look shinier than i feel what a little day what a little day i just had <laughs> all right let's go home Oh my god, I'm back home. I feel so good. Hi, buddy. Unfortunately, when I was bringing the pots that my mom planted me into the house, I knocked over the catnip one in my car. There's dirt all over my car, but that's a tomorrow problem. More upsettingly is I don't know if the catnip is going to grow now because that was just in seed form. So I don't know if the seeds are in my car or back in the pot. I just like scooped up as much of it as I could with my hand. Only like the top third fell out, but obviously that's where the seeds are. I called my mom like freaking out and she was just like, well, you know, it's fine. They're only gonna grow or not grow but i'll be back in san diego in like two weeks she's like if you don't see anything happening in two weeks i'll just give you more seeds but i feel really bad because you know she gave me this gift and fell over and also i was really excited to get catnip for my baby so we'll see i'll just keep watering it and hoping for the best but my food that i ordered should be here in like 15 minutes so it's 8 30 mario's a bar trivia texting me about all the various questions. I am, ugh, the one thing I need to do is make a thumbnail for my video tomorrow. I'm gonna try for like the next 15 minutes to do that on my phone. And if I'm fan finding that to be too difficult to do on my phone, then I will go upstairs and do it on my computer. But I really just wanna sit here on this couch. Oh my God, it's nine o'clock and I did it. I made my thumbnail, it took me 
so much longer than I thought it was going to. I almost gave up at one point. Despite how frustrating the Canva app on my phone is, she came out pretty cute. Let's see, can you see her? No, I'll have to put it on screen. This is the video that you guys watched on Wednesday. It is going up in my world tomorrow. First time I'm posting a Wednesday video in a long time. I'm interested to see. I mean, my videos don't necessarily like do well, but I'm interested to see if it performs the same as my Friday videos because nobody knows this is coming. I think my food drop got dropped off like 10 minutes ago. Let's see. Yes, it did. Let's go get food. Oh my God, I hate when they just put the food like right in front of this door. Like I have to open the store and the food is there. This sucks. I got arroz del campo from one of my favorite places, uh, La La's in Studio City. It's Argentinian food and it is basically just like their house rice uh, with chicken and it's so good. I need some water. Oh, I don't have the mental energy to wash out my new cup. I'm gonna get water in a regular cup. Boo. Okay, time to go eat and veg out. Good morning, good morning. Um, It's the next day, hence the good mornings. I need to get ready <laughs> and get my life together, but I'm gonna end this vlog here and start a new one shortly. So thank you guys so much for watching this one. I will see you guys in the next one shortly. Um, Yeah, but I, it's morning, you guys. I'm gonna go have some coffee. Oh my God, I literally forgot to say goodbye. Ciao, as my father apparently would say. <laughs>